So the international break is over and the Ghana Black Stars took a step closer to qualifying for the AFCON 2024 in Ivory Coast. The Black Meteors themselves have qualified for uh, there are a couple of things I picked up. Today we're going to discuss five things I learned watching the Ghana Black Stars over this international break. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. I have to say, uh, looking at the results of teams like uh, Cameroon, who were beaten by Namibia, who have qualified for the African Cup of Nations, joining Ivory Coast and Morocco, Ghana did pretty good for themselves during this international break, especially uh, with Chris Hughes having to take charge of these boys for the very first time. Some would say he has been technical advisor and that has given him the edge and that has given him the opportunity to know these boys beforehand. But this is the first time he's been fully in charge and has implemented his ideas into them. And uh, it worked a treat. The first lesson I learned uh, watching the Black Stars play is that Chris Hutting is the man for the job. He's a no-nonsense man who is brave to take the decisions that need to be made. And when he gets it wrong, as he did in both games with his uh, first team, he does make effective changes, changes that impact the game. The first leg, he had to do with the substitution with a first man, Bukhari and Co and Antoine Semenyo, who got that all important winner. The second leg introduction of Majida Shimeru, Joseph Paintel and Osman Bukhari once again, who combined to get the goal for Ghana. It's clear that Chris Hutin is an in-game tactician and he does get it right. At least the first two games he has gotten it right. Uh, this man will take the Ghana Black Stars far. As to whether he can win as a trophy, going by his words, no coach can guarantee anything, but he will guarantee creating a strong team. He has created a team that has fighting spirit. He has created a team that uh, will take some beating and difficult for teams to break Ghana down. And if we, did, we do go behind, he can make the changes that will impact the game and get us back into it. I was excited at his unveiling, at his pre and post match press conferences. This man knows what he's about. He's an excellent communicator. His explanations for questions posed to him on omitting players out were that good. And I have to say, Chris Hutting is impressive so far as Black Stars head coach. My second lesson is that Kudus Mohammed, at least for the Ghana Black Stars, or possibly for his team in Ajax, is not a playmaker. Yes, many people have come to, and I myself have come to, uh, see Kudus Mohammed as sort of that number 10 person, that player who is a playmaker and creates chances for his teammates. Don't get me wrong, he does do that at times. Uh, but Kudus Mohammed, that is not his primary role, or at least, from the two games we watched, it looked like Kudus looked to be the man himself, scoring as he has been doing for Ajax. Probably that number 10 role, which he has not been playing that role at Ajax. Dusan Tadic uh, seems to be playing that role, is not for him with the Ghana Black Stars. He likes to play up front and finish up the chances. Uh, probably why he finds it difficult to release the ball quickly to teammates who are playing up front ahead of him. Kudus has not played in that primary number 10 creative role to pick out passes for teammates for a while. At club level, he's the main man in the front three most of the time. And uh, it's showing here for the national team. He was uh, uh, daily dallying on the ball, looking to take the shots, not looking out for teammates in front of him. It was a part of his game I did not enjoy, along with Kamal Dean Suleimana. I think his role in the team needs to be reassessed. Up front, as an auxiliary striker, well, I feel that he will be more effective in that position. Andrea Yu's time with the Ghana Black Stars might be coming to the end stage. Yes, uh, Coach Chris Hilting omitted the Ghana Black Stars captain uh, from his uh, team uh, for the second leg owing to the fact that 
he got injured in the first leg many people have questioned whether that injury is genuine whether andrea Ayew is uh, uh, looking uh, to get out of the game because he was not allowed to play in that first game i'll leave you to draw your own conclusions from it but clearly when chris Uting was questioned on it his response seemed to be that we are probably moving on from andrea Ayew. he has actually stated the importance of Andrea Ayew in the team and also emphasize the fact that there are others who are also equally good and uh, he's still a key member of the team but uh, he feels that that is what he needs to do he's the coach these are some of the decisions he has to take it could be uh, the embers or the twilight of his career an illustrious career for Andrea Ayew starting at the under 20 level winning as the World Cup the only African country to do that he has been a great servant to the Ghana national team and if this is the ending of his career we hope he ends it with a trophy at AFCON 2024 under coach Chris Uting the fourth thing I learned was that goal scoring is still an issue for the Ghana Blacks and I've primarily told you why that is. Goal scoring is an issue because the creative players or the players who are supposed to be creative and finding passes to, to the strikers up front in Antoine Semenyon and Ngake Williams do not do that quite frequently. Chances created have not been finished. And uh, it is something Hilton will be quite aware of. And uh, goal scoring has been a bane in recent times. It's something that we struggled uh, to do on a frequent basis. We scored two goals in the international break. And uh, we could have scored and should have scored more if uh, our midfielders looked out for our strikers and if our strikers were a bit more clinical. It is a whole systemic problem that needs addressing. And if anyone can solve it, I know Chris Uting would be working up solutions to this big issue. Also, another final thing that I learned was that Lauren Satizigi has laid a claim to that number one role. After a finger injury ruled Joseph Walakot out of the World Cup, Atizigi took over and impressed. He came on in the recent qualifiers and got a clean sheet. A rare one for him at the Ghana Black Stars uh, goalpost. Uh, he also impressed with some of the saves he made versus Angola in both legs. And many feel now that he is almost a certain number one at the moment. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. Uh, but at the moment, Atizigi's role as Black Stars number one goalkeeper seems to have been cemented in this international break the boys will come back into action in june where they play madagascar before playing central african republic and then we will know whether we will be in the, in the AFCON corners group winners or runners up let me know what you also learned during the international break from the ghana black stars games congratulations to the black meteors a step closer to paris 2024 for the first time since 2004 athens we hope they get over that line. A great international break filled with a, a great week for the Ghana national teams. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.